there was uh, an incident that involved our MY24 uh, fighter helicopter uh, that crash landed here at Saka airfield uh, where it landed on, uh, on a civilian's house uh, damage, damaging more especially the, the roof uh, but good enough uh, the occupants of the of the helicopter and also the occupants of the house uh, came out safely uh, there is uh, nobody who was uh, either injured or died uh, that is the fortunate part of it the helicopter got uh, some damage and uh, also the uh, the civilian house also got damage and uh, 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 the, 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 the plantation, the banana plantation uh, where the, this uh, helicopter landed uh, it was also destroyed. Uh, but basically our uh, technical team has come from uh, Entebbe uh, to ascertain the, the cause of that incident. Uh, it is unfortunate that uh, the old woman, uh, uh, her house got uh, uh, damaged. And, uh, but uh, on the fortunate part of it is that she's alive and uh, she has not had any uh, injury. Uh, what we are doing is temporarily we have uh, uh, called our uh, construction engineers to come, first of all, replace the, 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 the iron sheets that got damaged from the house and also uh, re renovate. The, the wall that uh, has got uh, uh, some issues and then thereafter our uh, the team that will come to come and uh, and survey and look at the the other damage that has been uh, uh, caused by this incident it's the second time now airplane to crash in this area it's important that uh, government engages the community to ensure that those that are at danger be compensated and then they find somewhere else they can settle.